Jiggy cat on a damn villa spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a centipede. Hey everyone, it's me, Nakatoa's Revenge, and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully, everyone is doing okay and happy Tuesday. For today, I'm going to be talking about on the latest version of 4.86 firmware that has recently been released by um, Sony themselves. So, big disclaimer as of right now if you still want to keep your PlayStation 3 that is hacked, or basically if you're on custom firmware or HEN, do not update to 4.86 because I cannot stress this enough. Anytime when Sony releases an uh, update or just whether it be for the PS4, the PS3, or Vita, or anything of that nature, if you want to keep your hacks, always stay on a lower firmware. That's like the general rule in terms of modding consoles. But one thing I do want to showcase here, as you can see, I am on my PlayStation 3, and if I just try to go ahead and sign in, you could clearly see on the screen that it's wanting to update my system. However, if you already have HEN HFW installed, which you can see that I am on HEN right now, and I will showcase real quick before I even um, go into the actual update settings, I will go into my system settings here, and I will go into my system information. So you can see that I am on 4.85 right now, and if I go into system update and try to install by the internet, the cool thing what HEN actually features, it basically will block out any um, update or basically it will block you from updating, which is a really cool feature. So I'll just read the message on the screen. So this is from um, PS3 exploit, by the way, it says until photo, excuse me, until further notice, please remain on this firmware, visit PS3 exploit.com for a new announcement or a new exploit announcements regarding newer firmware versions. So this is talking about 4.86. But that's one thing I just want to go ahead and get out the way just to show you guys on, you know, what is happening on the PS3 side of things. What I'm going to do now, since this is kind of a news related article, I'm going to go back to my PC, show you guys some articles that I found, um, particularly dealing with this topic. And then I'm going to kind of give my verdict and just some key things and some tips for you guys who want to still be on jailbroken firmwares um, for, you know, future Oh, and excuse me for the future for your ps3 but with that being said let's go on to the pc check out some articles and get down to the bottom of the situation Alrighty, so we're back onto my PC as showcased here. And what I'm gonna do for the rest of the segment of the video is just show some articles about this new update itself and then just give my thoughts and general rundown. And as I stated before, just some tips on how to go about this if you wanna still be on custom firmware or on hand or at least to be on a modified PlayStation 3. So as showcased here, um, this article was written literally um, yesterday at 11.02 p.m. I guess EST time and you can see from here here on March 31st, 2020, Sony sneakily uh, released another update for the PS3 and version 4.86 is now live and apparently is for custom firmware and hen patching needs to be tested. So that's what I was just saying here in terms of, you know, HFW being on 4.86 and if that does come out or, you know, if 4.86 is patched, I will make another update video. However, if it's uh, not patched, which I don't think it is to me personally, but take that with a grain of salt, I will always, you know, keep you guys updated uh for hen and hfw and if there is a new custom firmware for like rebug 4.86 i will you know do update videos when those firmwares come out but since it's so early in terms of this you know update um you know developers have to create you know patches and stuff like that for you know the latest rebug firmwares the latest fear or excuse me like fair rocks firmwares and you know the later homebrews like multi-man and stuff like that uh just we're getting out the way you can see from another forum site so credit goes out to PSX hacks. Um, you can see that you know you can download actually the official firmware um, yourself if you want to take a look at it to see if there's any changes from like the kernel, which I don't think it is. But you can see that uh, you know um, in terms of the change logs for 4.86, of course, since it really isn't a update that adds new features, it just basically improves the system or you know the quality of your system performance, just kind of like how you've seen back with the Vita. Uh, towards like 3.73 and stuff like that um once it gets at 
the end of life for those type of systems um you won't see any major updates like new web browsers uh you know new applications or anything of that nature but yep here's another website just reiterating what i was saying about that and then here's wololo.net um talking about the same issue in terms of that so in this actual article um now while i'm reading this hfw 4.86 has been released sna enabler has been updated as well and i probably uh will cover that in a later time topic since I don't want to mush everything into one video but you could see that um in terms of ps3 hen it still needs to be updated due to no kernel changes and you could just see here that you know 4.86 if I go here you can see that the update feature as of right now has been updated on the official PSN website actually now um, let me go back to wololo.net for a second so i could read it more to or excuse me read this more to you guys but you can see that um you know one of the top ps3 developers juni a person who worked on hfw as well as you know the cfw scene and even nintendo switch um he states that he basically has a f excuse me hybrid firmware already released for 4.861 but basically um you know that does state that any playstation 3 consoles are still hackable in that situation and it's still vulnerable to everything in terms of kernel or excuse me the current exploits so what i'm thinking what this basically states from here um is that just the hen payloads need to be ported over to 4.86 which shouldn't take too long i remember when this happened to 4.85 and it took basically about like a week or so but yeah that's just generally stating the thing um in terms of that but you can see here um just general rule of thumb with 4.86 um if you want your hacks be on a lower firmware if you're on 4.86 and you want a newer exploited firmware just wait till um you know developers get into the you know time frame and to see on more updates on terms of that matter of exploits but with that being all out the way my name is nagato's revenge if you guys have any more questions about 4.86 um hfw uh you know an update to sne enabler let me know in the comment section down below but hopefully this quick news guide give you guys or you know a rundown on what's happening around in the scene with that being said i'm signing out and i'll see you guys next time peace hey everyone it's me nagato's revenge here hope you guys did enjoy today's video with that being out the way as well i highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well is another method on how you will know when i drop my latest content whether it be for the vita ps4 ps3 and such and so forth as well if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace